I am Dr. Suhasini Inamdar. I am obstetrician and gynecologist from St. Philomena's Hospital and Cloud9 Old Airport Road, Bangalore, India. Low amniotic fluid is a condition in which the volume of amniotic fluid in the womb goes down. It is denoted by AFI or amniotic fluid index which is below 8 cm. It is seen in second and third trimester scans and when it is diagnosed we look into the reasons and try and treat those reasons so that it can remain at whatever level it is or at least increase a bit. There is no sure method of increasing the amniotic fluid but there are some time tested methods which are known to bring it to some considerably good levels. So when it is lower than 8 we try and ask the mother to take proper rest. Nutrition which is rich in proteins, proteins are known to increase amniotic fluid. Then there are some amino acid preparations which a lady can take by mouth or by IV infusions and then she can be prescribed some blood thinners also. Blood thinners again are known to increase the amniotic fluid. A very easy method of again increasing the amniotic fluid is drinking plenty of water. Plenty of water and liquids which are permissible to you by your obstetrician. Then there is another reason what, what we look into which is causing oligoamnios or low amniotic fluid levels. It can be of fetal origin. The fetal contribution to oligoamnios is looked into and it is seen on scan if the fetal kidneys are functioning properly. Sometimes the kidneys might be there but they are not functioning properly. Sometimes the fetus doesn't have a kidney. The other one would be there but one kidney is missing. The, another reason for the fetal origin is lack of functioning of urinary bladder of the fetus. There may be some block and in these situations they are guided to go to a pediatric surgeon who is a pediatric urologist or to go to expert in fetal medicine who can treat these conditions in utero. There is another method of treating oligoamnios which is putting saline in the amniotic sac through IV line like how we give in your, for your IV infusion. In the same way we put the fluid in the amniotic sac. There are some complications which may arise if this is done which can be infection or precipitating the labor but if we want to buy some few hours to couple of um, days we can do this and we can try so that we can deliver the baby when it is mature enough to survive outside the womb.